In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a newspaper in Adobe InDesign. To begin, open Adobe InDesign and create a new file. When setting up the file, it's important to choose the correct format to ensure your newspaper layout looks professional. In the new document setup, make sure to select four to five columns since most newspapers are designed with multiple columns. Also, adjust the margins to a small size, similar to what you typically see in newspapers. Once you've set the columns and margins, click on Create to generate the document. Next, you need to add a heading. To do this, click on the Text tool from the left side of your screen. Then, click and drag to create a text box at the top of your document. Type in your newspaper heading, and once you've entered the text, select it. Now go to the Properties panel on the right side of your screen. From here, you can modify the font size, font family, text alignment, and other text properties to match the style you want for your newspaper heading. After setting up the heading, it's time to create frames for your images. To do this, select the Frame tool from the left side of the screen. Click and drag to create frames in the areas where you want to insert images. After placing the frames, go back to the Text tool and create additional text boxes for the body text of your newspaper. Continue creating text boxes until you have filled the layout with the necessary content. To insert images into the frames, go to the File menu at the top of the screen and select Place. Import the image you want to use and place it in your frame. Repeat this process to insert all the images into the document. Using these methods, you can easily create a newspaper layout in Adobe InDesign.